Hello there, my name is Phil Osophical and the purpose of this video is to have a discussion or start a dialogue over the internet about the use of psychedelics or entheogens at big festivals. So recently I've been at a lot of festivals and I've been hanging out with a lot of different people and just experienced a lot of different perspectives on the use of psychedelics or as I like to call them entheogens which means awakening the divine within so I'm primarily speaking about um, psilocybin mushrooms though many other substances could fit along with this um, so basically it seems like a lot of people are are mixing these substances which I see as sacred plant medicines which indigenous cultures have been using for thousands of years and revering. For example, the, the Mexican shamans call the, the mushrooms the flesh of the divine because it's that sacred to them. And then at these festivals, a lot of people seem to just use it as a, as a party drug or as a recreational thing. And um, I really believe that in order to learn from these these plant medicines then you really have to have an intention and you have to integrate your experience so the title of this video is the two eyes because I think intention and integration are very key um, if you're gonna use entheogens at a festival or even not at a festival so I really just want to spark some conversation some online discussion I'd love um, if other Evolver Spores perhaps want to make a video response to talking about this topic. I would love to hear other opinions. These are just some thoughts and ideas that I've kind of put together with my recent experiences because I see a lot of people just mixing, mixing say mushrooms with alcohol or just taking a huge amount and and not learning anything from it or not really benefiting from it and um, I think it can really mess you up and be hard to integrate back into society into dominant society um, so just a few recommendations or ideas that I've put here is if you're going into it the first I is having an intention and saying why am I taking this this plant medicine or this substance and I recommend doing research on it talking to friends and and not mixing substances together because then you don't really know what's affecting you or what's happening um, and then as most people say the key is set and setting so having the right a positive mindset and knowing what your setting is going to be so not necessarily doing it and then just venturing out into the unknown maybe having a, a nice corner of, of um, nature that you can just hang out in and I really recommend having at least one friend with you it's often called a sitter um, a friend who's experienced something similar before so that you can at least um, have a conversation with someone who understands what you're going through um, another key thing that I feel is is just writing down like a few intentions of what what you want to learn or what you want to explore um, so that you just have that framework of okay these are the things I want to think about this is where I want to put my awareness because um, I find sometimes people put their aware you can put your awareness on something really weird and that can take you on like a downward spiral um, and so I recommend just writing down a few intentions going into it and really just respecting whatever plant or chemical you're communing with because I really do believe as the term entheogen says these are like little um, catalysts which awaken these divine which allow us to see the divine in the world and kind of remove all these boundaries and barriers that we normally have but it's just like a glimpse and then so the second eye is integration because after having this really profound experience 
how do we integrate back into our day-to-day -day lives? And I think that's one of the biggest questions that I'd love for people to explore is like, how do we have this transcendent, profound experience and then go back to our day-to-day -day lives of school or work or whatever we're doing? And I feel like that's the real key is figuring out how to bring these lessons and these things back. Um, Cause in some sense, it's like you're, you're getting shown around the house of, of a shaman and he's showing you all these cool things and you know it's real when you're there, but then you go back and it's like the regular world doesn't affirm all these things that you experience. So then you're just like, what the heck's going on? And I think that's where some people get this heavy drug use at festivals is because they they hate their regular lives so much that they just want to escape and experience a different realm of consciousness. Um, but I, I believe there's plenty of practical, easy ways to integrate these lessons. Um, I recommend just reading, learning, watching documentaries related to all these things. Um, our YouTube channel has a whole range of subjects and favorite documentaries and things. I highly recommend watching some documentaries like The Spirit Molecule and um, there's a bunch of other good ones. I also recommend writing about your experience soon after. That's been really helpful for me because you often forget these little things that you saw or experienced and when you go back to regular day-to-day -day life people can almost convince you that what happened to you didn't happen so if you write it down it's a way of remembering it and um, using it as a stepping stone to learn from um, I also highly recommend having a yoga and meditation practice because that is a way to stay grounded and to really cultivate um, these states of non-ordinary consciousness in a balanced and healthy way not just like skyrocketing into cosmic consciousness and then coming back and having no idea anything in between I feel like um, consciousness is just kind of like this continuum of, of different channels different planes and there's not just like sober and not sober as some people make it out to be and really we can experience most of these planes and channels without any substances. You can do it through yoga and meditation. Um, but if we see it as like, oh, it's when I was tripping or when I was on this, uh, this substance, that was, that was um, what reality was like. If you think that that's only accessible through a substance then it's going to be hard for you to reach that state without it but if you just believe that it's all this continuum then you can kind of explore these different states um, without using any substances at all and um, that's why another thing I recommend is just using these substances sparingly and trying to trying to get to non-ordinary states without using the substances it's kind of like you learn you learn the framework of your brain so then you can kind of get back and trigger these same neurons <laughs> um, like they've done a study where they've studied monks who took LSD and a lot of the brain activity was exactly the same when the monks were just meditating um, so that's just another thought and, and these are not like rigid viewpoints. These are just kind of ideas and recommendations, things that have helped me. Um, so one last piece of integration is just setting goals for yourself to kind of implement the lessons that you learned. Like maybe while you were on this mushroom experience, you, um, you realized that a bunch of the foods that you had in your camp were really unhealthy, really nasty. So you're like, all right, why am I eating these foods? Why am I putting this in my body? Um, because we really are what we eat. And so maybe your intention is to have a certain portion of your diet change. Or maybe you realize when you're on this experience that you, um, 
you project this certain fear or something like that. So your goal could be to reduce that fear or to further analyze that fear. Um, so yeah, these are just a few different thoughts. I'd love to hear your thoughts. Um, if, if you want to just share this on Facebook or put post a comment, I'd love to hear what your thoughts are on entheogens at festivals. So once again, the two eyes that I talked about here is intention and integration. I feel like those two themes are really key and I feel like you can gain we can all gain a lot from entheogens if we use them in a safe, cautious, mindful way um, and there's just a lot to be gained from them. You can also check out the other videos I'll post the link to. I have one called a re reinvestigation of psychedelic plants that covers some of my other thoughts on these issues. Um, so thank you for watching. Have a beautiful day. And please share your thoughts or comments. Peace.